baseball guy here, and I'm in San Diego, and I've got the lovely Bianca. Yes. Bianca, what's going on today? We're just having some fun, drinking mimosas on the beach at our bachelorette party with one of our friends. Who's getting married? Kaylee. Kaylee, good luck, Kaylee. We wish you lots of luck. Yes. And um, you've got some amazing tattoos that I want to talk about. Yes, I have a lot of good tattoos and bad tattoos. What should we talk about first? Let's talk about the good tattoos, because those are good. All right, so we're going to talk about some good tattoos. Tell me about your favorite tattoo. Honestly, this this one right here is my favorite tattoo, because every flower represents a woman in my life that was important to me. So who are the important women? Um, so it's my grandma, my aunt, my mom, and my cousin. All right, and how did you pick decide which flower each one got? So... My grandma is named Iris, so I picked an Iris, and then my mom loves um, tulips, so I have two tulips, and then for my aunt too, because she loves tulips, and then Forget Me Not, that's my favorite, because I was like, I can't forget my cousin, so it's a Forget Me Not, I like that. Very sweet, I like the, the reasoning behind that. And I'm the butterfly in the whole like picture. And what makes you the butterfly? I'm like free spirited. Like I feel like I'm a caterpillar and I just like within life you just kind of blossom. And you buzz around each one of them. Yes, buzz around. That's what I like. All right, now let's buzz around your body here a little bit yeah. to go to what's your next favorite tattoo? Um, this one is my favorite tattoo because I'm, I'm a yogi. So it's like a lotus flower. They kind of grow from the mud and they just like blossom. That's my favorite. And then this one is kind of like a yogi symbol, om. So that's what I like. And then my second favorite is right here. It's mixed connective tissue disease. It's an autoimmune disease that my mom has. So I had to represent her. Okay, so support that, guys. Um, I assume there's a website for that and yeah. everything. I don't know the website, but yes, there's a lot of information online. There's a lot of autoimmune diseases, so I would say support that for sure. Yeah, we've actually interviewed someone with a pretty serious autoimmune disease on Tat Stories before, so yes. we're definitely very supportive. Yes, awesome. I mean, I would say autoimmune disease isn't... Like a lot of people don't talk about it, but a lot of people have it. And a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Well, a lot of people have words on their body. You've got some words on your body. Why don't you, I do. Why don't you tell me about some of the symbols? So this one is mixed connect, or sorry, it's Mexican. I am Mexican and Puerto Rican and Czechoslovakian, which I have on my back right here. And then I'm French as well. And the French, you know, I guess that's when you're making out, right? Yes, I love French making out. <laughs> so she she is she is totally repre representing all four of her cultures. Yes. Um, and then you mentioned you also had some bad tattoos. Oh, I do have some bad tattoos. So this tattoo right here, it says, Life is not measured by the number of breaths you take, but by the moments that take, it says, breathe away but it's supposed to say breaths away. So can't they just erase that? Maybe with laser. <laughs> La I, I've had like tattoo artists, I'm like, can you just like erase it? And they're like, no, we can't. It kind of sucks. But when you're 17 and you do it in a garage, that's kind of what you get. <laughs> was that the first tattoo you got? No, my first tattoo was a Czechoslovakian. Oh. I didn't even tell you my worst tattoo. So my worst tattoo is the heart. And I wanted my parents' name. And it was supposed to say Jade and Diana. But it says Diana Jade. He didn't even put the and in it. And it's so faded. Like <laughs> It's really, really bad. People are like, oh, what's Diana Jade? And I was like, oh, that's my parents. <laughs> oh, my. It, it's really bad. <laughs> So now you have some things misspelled, some things kind of gone awry. You also have a tattoo that's not done. And part of me would say, well, this has been a work in progress. But it's been a work in progress for how long? Ten years. I'm looking for a new tattoo artist, though. Like, I just didn't vibe with my tattoo artist. And so I'm looking for a new one. But I want a lot more, though. 
Okay, and this is the tattoo that you've got on your back, yes, right? it's this one right here, the koi fish. I just, I don't know, I need someone who like I vibe with, yeah. definitely. And we'll do a great job on koi. It is so important to have that connection yes. with your tattoo artist. Cause you're gonna spend a lot of time. How long did that artist work on that? Well, for this one, I mean, it was only two hours, but he didn't talk to me. He didn't vibe or anything. Like I like an artist that talks to you. Like you have to find an artist that vibes with you for sure. So after two hours, you were able to tell n no. Yeah. And so did you talk to this artist at all before you had planned the tattoo? No, actually, my dad said, let's just go to this place. I heard it's good and it is good, but they didn't talk to me. I, I like someone who talks to me. This tattoo right here was by a woman and she was just talking to me and everything and all my other tattoos, they talked to me, but it was just the vibe. Who's the favorite artist that you've had? Honestly, I'm girl power. So it's this one, like women, women empowerment with tattoos. Like my next one's going to be a woman for sure. For sure. And where are you going to get your next tattoo? Ooh, I actually know her. Her name's Janelle, but it goes by Gypsy online. I'm, I for sure want to get a tattoo by her. She actually lives in San Diego. Okay. And where on your body would you get it? Ooh, I think my leg. My leg or my arms, for sure. And do you know what you want Gypsy to do to you? Yes. I would love a half sleeve. She um, does really great work with, like, flowers and everything. And then on my leg, I would want, my dad's always said this, like, um, he always says, like, take chances. So that's. That's how I am. I kind of want him to like write it and then just tattoo it on myself. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah, I love that. You always have to have, I feel like if you have a tattoo, you have to have a story with it. Let's just make sure he spells things correctly too, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Not the tattoo artist. He has to spell everything correctly. <laughs> yes. Well, this is my favorite ever French Thanks. Bariqua, Mexican, Czechoslovakian. Um, she's just amazing. Yeah. So guys, we ask that you like this video. Please you comment. You better like it. Yes, you like better that. like it. <laughs> comment on just how lovely she is. What do you think of her great tattoos? What do you think of her not so great tattoos? And what would you like to put on her body? Tell me, cause I'll get it tattooed on me. And sure. subscribe to the YouTube channel, folks. Yes. Baseball subscribe. guy. Subscribe. Bianca. We out. Baseball guy here. I'm not in New York. I'm not in New York, but I'm with Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn actually spells it a little bit different. We're here in San Diego. Brooklyn, you are out here on vacation. Where are you from? I'm from Michigan. All right, and what do you think of San Diego? I'm loving it so far. Only been here a couple days. Okay, uh, what I'm loving so far is her tattoos. If you look at her hip, holy crap, this thing is just popping. Tell me about what you got going on here. Um, so I have the sun and the moon, and the quote is, it is in herself, she will find the shrink that she needs. Um, this was like right post uh, high school. And the others are, they're actually brand new. I got them for my trip here. It was back-to-back -back sessions, and um, yeah, I'm loving it. The leg is almost done. All right, now, did this thing turn out perfect the first time? No, no. So when I when I was originally getting the leg work done, I was going to Miami every year to see uh, his name is Jay Kowalski, and he does beautiful work out in Miami. But um, I got impulsive one day, went to an unknown artist, botched it. It took about two grand to get it to where it is now. <laughs> so trust your artist be careful of those artists you don't know about you gotta do your research mm -hmm. that's one of the things we clearly find um how long have you been working with jake um i started seeing him when i was 19 and then um i did eventually find an artist i liked in michigan though so no more trips to florida i go to alondra who works out of milford michigan and she is incredible all right so shout out to alondra <laughs> um now i gotta ask which one of the, so part of that piece is your first tattoo which part was the first 
So the the first tattoo I ever got was just the sun, the moon, and the quote, and then all the water work was an addition. And then um, I have like little ones here and there, drunken nights, matching tattoos, you know, little additions, and then um, and then my my most two recent ones on the bottom half there. All right. So now, drunken night. I got to ask about the helicopter. Tell me about the helicopter. So um, I have a little helicopter down here. It was a drunk night. Met a guy. Um, and in that same day, we got a matching tattoo. I, I don't even think I remembered his name when I woke up, but um, as fate would have it, we ended up dating and living together for about a year. <laughs> the one night stand with permanent ink that first night that turns into a relationship. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, match made in heaven. <laughs> At least the match, match made in the skies with the helicopter, right? Yeah, and um, I think, like, you know, there was a lot of warning signals from, like, my family and friend, like, you should not get a matching tattoo with a guy. But even though it didn't work out, I love the tattoo. It's a great memory. Oh, and it's a phenomenal story. I mean, I've, I've got some good, you know, drunk night stories. But this is, this is the first one I can think of that turned into a relationship. Yeah. And it's just, like, such a random, cool thing. <laughs> Well, I think the funny thing about it, too, is, you know, people ask, like, why a helicopter? And they assume, like, maybe our first date was a helicopter ride, but it wasn't. I think we were drunk and we were like, oh, we should go on a helicopter ride. But then we were like, ah, forget it. Let's just get a tattoo of a helicopter and call it a day. A little bit cheaper, maybe? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> it was a little cheaper. By, like, a grand. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, plans for next tattoo? Um, you know what? I think the top half here, like I'm really happy with it. And the bottom half, I just, I just want that like fun patchwork. I think, you know, the, the whole premise of like my leg was I want it to be meaningful and the common thread throughout all the pieces is like self love. And I think, I think I nailed it, you know, so what's left, I just want to have fun with it. And I don't know what's to come, but it'll be good. We think Brooklyn nailed it too, and we also think Mr. Helicopter nailed it, yeah. but yeah, that, that's another story. Um, we won't go there right now. Um, this is some awesome stuff. Flaunt this out here in the California sun. I hope you have a wonderful rest Thank of your you. time here. Beautiful work, um, beautiful personality. Please hit the like on this video. Um, hit the subscribe button. We definitely want to do that. And then just comment on what you think of Brooklyn here. What's your favorite part of her tattoos? Um, baseball guy, Brooklyn, we out.